Hey there, it's Chris, and we are taking a look at our last two questions here in practice test four. And if you are looking at this video as a portion of your SAT course, then this wraps up your last practice test. So congratulations in advance. All right, so let's take a look. Questions 37 and 38 refer to the following information, as we so often see in our gridding questions towards the end of the calculator portion. The stock price of one share in a certain company is worth 360 today. A stock analyst believes that the stock will lose 28% of its value each week for the next three weeks. The analyst uses the equation V equals 360 R to the T to model the value V of the stock after two weeks. Okay, so we have a few values given there in that description. And the first question that we're asked for 37, it says what should the or what value should the analyst use for R? So if you have been following along with our entire video series, then hopefully this is something that you already know because it comes up time and time and time again. <laughs> and that is when you have a percent change, such as a loss or a gain, right? So maybe if the stock analyst thought that you were going to gain 10% or gain 30% or lose 28% or whatever it is, you want to look at that change off of 100%. 100% is your original value. That's always what you start with. Percentages are always based off of 100. So if you start with 100, if you lose 28%, that would be an indication that you have 72% remaining. And that means that instead of doing a two-step calculation where you multiply by 0.28 and then have to subtract it, you're subtracting this from 100, or in decimal form, it's like saying you're subtracting 0.28 from 1. Your value for R here, your value would be, it's always your original, times this is, the current value is your remaining amount after any changes. This would be times 0.72, and then to the T representing the number of weeks. So that's basically like saying how many times you're multiplying by 0.72. But... Your value for R in this case is 0.72. And if we understand that relationship, it's a tough concept to get, but I promise you once it clicks, then you're going to get these questions not only correct, but you're going to get them correct even for a question like 37, which is supposed to be very difficult. You're going to get that correct in your first 10 or 15 seconds of reading and interpreting the question. And so it's a huge time saver. And an accuracy builder as well. All right, let's take a look at 38. To the nearest dollar, what does the analyst believe that the value of the stock will be at the end of three weeks? So that's the same value that they gave us in the original setup. And they tell us that T represents the weeks. So if we already know the equation, and if we have correctly found R, we're going to apply that to this question as well. So here, you're going to find your value is 360 just this same equation we're applying this but we're incorporating our value of r so we're incorporating a few outside things into this and we're saying 360 times 0.72 to the t and t is 3 in this case so our value is going to be 0.72 to the third power and then times 360. That's messy math. Luckily, it's calculator portion. That comes out to 134.36928. And they want to know the value of the stock at the end of those three weeks, which basically means that here you're going to fill up your space is available for your grid in. So that's 134.4. Actually, no, we can't even fill that up. This we have to leave rounded to the nearest dollar. And oh, look, they tell us that in the question. So hey, they throw us a bone and make it easy for us to round. It's just going to be 134 on the nose. Since we don't have enough spaces to enter in any decimal points, they let us round this to the nearest dollar. And we are good to go. And that wraps up 
section four of test four. And if, again, you're watching this as part of your SAT course, that wraps up the course itself. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, hopefully you feel more confident in your test skills if you do.